And uh, what, what is this thing doing that for? I don't know. Everything's in there cooking. And I got everything laid out. I'm gonna throw that away now. That's my tape. So when you tape off the metal tape, pull it off when it's warm, and it's a whole lot easier. So I got a, some cleaning to do uh, on the contact surfaces and just wipe it down, put your glove on, wipe it down with some uh, some brake clean, and there it is. So everything's laid out, ready to ready to go back together. I'm gonna go put this on the thing. I got my tape around here. I got my seal glide ready. Everything's everything's all ready to go. I got a little touch of blue Loctite on on those things. And I hear that thing cooking. Okay, we'll put it back together and talk about it. So let's just keep the camera over here, okay? I'm gonna stay right there, okay? They have cooled off enough for assembly now. And I've cleaned the best I can over and over everything here. So let's put them together. A little judicious amount of seal glide. And boy, my hands are all dried out, aren't they? I need to go get some uh, some Vaseline or something. I washed them a million times. Dries them out. You know how it is. So I've got my little piece right here. I've got my little rings in there. I've got those polished out real well. And uh, so there we go. I'm gonna just set that right there. Now, don't don't get excited about this stuff too much, okay? Just try to get them in there and seated. I gotta wipe that one out and clean it. And then what you do is you put a little bit of this on there so you don't scratch up your new powder coating you just did. And then you very evenly and carefully push them in all the way home so okay you'll know, i'll have it together on the next shot messed up a little bit you got to put uh this on right you get your ring in there you got to put this on before you put the piston in i just clean forgot i guess that's the same thing happened to the person before me eh but they didn't go back and fix it but you just lip it in there and boy that just looks surgically beautiful there okay just pop it out with a little air very carefully Got the greasiest camera in the West, but that's okay. So this is what they should look like. You get them on the inner, uh, on the caliper, and then there's a rim around the piston. There's a rim around the piston when you start to push this in, and you'll need you'll need a little guiding light here, a little pick, you know, not not one too sharp. And then it'll just go inside, right there. And boy, that is just exactly what you're looking for. Okay, and uh, uh, okay, that makes me feel sad. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Uh, anyway, a little bit of a faux pas there, but that's okay because this is the part you see right there. So, uh, I've got uh, these, uh, just these four bolts just tightened, and you know, fairly good. I double checked to make sure I, I did find it and I put that little ring back in there. So that's one done. And I'm not gonna put it on the car until after I flush out the lines. I don't wanna blow junk all over it. So that's pretty good there, I'll take that. And uh, what's the other one's in the tank. So uh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna make the heat come back on probably. Yeah, there we go. So that one's done. All right, let's take it over to the car. Well, back to the TR4, huh? These are the old bleed screws. They look a little corroded on the tips. That one's worse than any of them, but I had a, I have a whole drawer full of them, uh, different kinds. And uh, so I've uh, put, a, put one on both sides. So uh, always better. Should think of that when you order. I should have thought of that when I didn't need to because I had some. But if you get the kit, get this, get the ring, get bleeders. And uh, so I got one side done. Let me finish the other, and then we'll. I gotta bleed it out. Okay, the very last Beatles song off Abbey Road. All right, uh, I've got this going back on. So we're tightening it up here. We will be tightening up where it attaches. 
we tighten up these attachments here and there and uh, I've got I've, I flushed it completely through vacuumed it out with uh, alcohol it's on the blogs do it at your own risk do not put brake cleaner in internally in a brake system so uh, there's the old denatured alcohol so she's been blown through sucked through and everything else so she has to sit overnight now and uh, so I've got the cap back on up here and uh, boy it's really clean in there I'm, I'm kind of doing this blunt I can't reach it let's see if I can get this over here I'll show you tomorrow okay let's just get these uh, back on and uh, I have gotten into the habit I went through a long time where they I just didn't I didn't know uh, what was right and uh, people used to want to glue the pads to the to the pistons but that's not true what you want is some of this uh, I think I got some copper over there I think I'd rather have that but uh, I'll show you what this looks like completely assembled both sides here in just a few minutes and then I have to wait till overnight let it kind of let it kind of settle down well that's the way I do it anyway So I took her up and uh, to get to the uh, clutch slave cylinder. Yeah, that was my noggin. And I pulled the bleeder off to check it. And the fluid that came out of there looked real good. So I re-wrapped it with some Teflon. And you end up with every different kind of fitting in the world. I got 7 16 in the back on those nipples. I've got... Uh, three-eighths on the front calipers and this one's 10 millimeter I don't know you just all these kits come from all over the world now I guess and you just I know the the vendors are just oops are just getting what they get there and uh, so anyway that's gonna be fine these can be real problematic to bleed but I think it's gonna be okay I spend a lot of time trying to get them to take up and uh, my method that you'll see later is just the best or you've already seen I don't know just nice and easy so no corrosion there okay and let's put that out there so I remember to huh, a little brake fluid there it's okay let's not whack my noggin again okay we're gonna go right back here and start this thing going let's see how clean everything is okay let's get my hair thing back on okay oh it's warm enough in there we can turn that off and then uh, drain let's get our tools out of the way and then there are the ancillary little parts look at that held up to even uh ultrasonic cleaner okay so this is where you start you wipe it down and then you use air now that was the clutch one ooh dirty I think that's okay with me I don't think there's any real difference in these let's see that's the that one this is the brake one okay and that spring has value okay All right, let's reach in and get. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Let's see what the cylinders look like. Okay, there you go. There's the brake master. So let's, uh, let's, ouch. Let's go uh, blow this out. So it's just, like I say, it's just Dawn and, and 
and some purple stuff and some and some distilled water. Let's put this, I'm gonna need this somewhere else in a minute anyway. Let's get the other one. Okay. Oh, ow, ow, ow. All right. It's good smelling stuff. Okay. My little solution. I, I used to kind of use uh, Aussie juice, but I just didn't see it performing any better than the stuff I was doing here. So let's take a look in there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Let's blow them out, put them back together. Seal glide. I spent a good amount of time getting the moisture, the water out of these things. It really holds it a lot in there. So make sure you get all that out so I won't suck it down in there. So it's seal glide time. So we're gonna do the master first since that was the one giving the most trouble. So I've got those, like I said, in some brake fluid. My hands are very, very clean. Don't may not look like it, but they are. And this is the 0.7 one. Okay, very clean. And we're gonna put a little seal glide on there and put a little seal glide back there just a touch, not very much. And let's see how, how it does here. Well, that feels pretty good. Okay, let's... Uh, See how it does this way. See, she pops right back. So that's that's the way it ought to. That's the way the action should be. Now the question is, does it hold? And if it doesn't hold, I'll put some WD-40 in it. So now uh, you want to get a little touch of this and put it right there. Okay, just not very much. And then you put that together right there. Get that ring to slip in there and get these kind of pliers because this is this kind of ring. Oh, what does that remind me of? That woman that sings in the have and have not or something. Okay, all right, so. She's about to pop out of there. And you gotta make sure you, you get her in there all the way. Okay, now. That's what you're going for right there, gang. And uh, don't put the rubber. See, it got kind of windy. That's why I closed the doors, because I didn't want all that dirt blowing around. So you get this going. And once again, just a little little, little dab right there. So it'll just slip on. And uh, so, man, that's that's okay. Now, if it doesn't work, I'm not going to mind. I, I got a kit coming. I will, uh, you know, I'll deal with it at that time. Okay, that's that one. Okay. And I'm talking a dab. And then there and there. Uh, okay. Oop, not that way. <laughs> that way. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Feels just perfect. Uh oh, I gotta go do something. Oh, I've got everything cleaned out and I got the fluid film uh, down in there, and that's all you need. And I cleaned out, looks good. And so I've got my hardware ready, everything's ready to go. I got my cylinders down here. I generally do the small one first, there's no real reason, it's just a little harder to get to for some reason. And then you got the speedometer cable in the way and all that too. So let's put them in and uh, go back there and 
and, and bench bleed them and then put them in and then we'll try that's why we got this here so we won't spill anything okay back in a minute so I got the clutch master in place and uh, tight everything's tight and I got a new split pin right there and that little spring goes right there so you can you know just take up some space now it's time to play doctor and uh, what we're going to do here is so once you get the clutch on and the mask the brake master you put in the top bolt right there and then you'll see what I'm gonna what I got going here see I dropped it don't worry about that though it's just dipped in fluid film okay so here we go again it takes a couple of times sometimes and I am trying to film this and then you slip it in just like that you hear it go in there grinding curve hemostats and then you can reach down and and start it with your finger and you got to try to get it in all you can because it's hard to get it's hard to get the tool in there I think that's pretty good okay so I end up using your ratchet let's take this magnet off of here oh come on there you go you end up using a ratchet with a whatever inch extension that is and then you know everybody's got one and then this and you have to sort of tuck it back down in there make sure it's in the click it on position put your lids on and don't don't get any junk in there and then you can probably see that I'm on it now I got to use my finger to make it do ratchety so it's so here ratchety probably not over the wind this is a pretty fine thread and I'm okay with that because you know this got a lot of back force on it and so you put the top one in just to make sure it's aligned but don't tighten the top one because it'll throw you off this is a real pain I like the work myself, so as long as it's mine that I'm working on. Okay. And I can feel it working down there. Whew, you got just millimeters to deal with here. This is a crazy system. Well, you know, we all wonder, don't we? How did they put these things together so quickly? Okay, there we go. So, there you go. I got two cars down. I don't like that. I got this car in the Spitfire. So, you gotta have another addition. Satellite workstation here. So, let me just get this one. And see which way that is. I don't know who that is. They got hay, so they're not coming here because I don't have any animals. Not even a cat. Alright, let's finish this up and see what I can what I can do. And see once you if you do this upside down, you can just push it and you can Yeah, somebody is here. I wonder who the hell that is. Howdy! I'm all right. You look familiar, yes, sir. Yeah. Come on in. I got my hands in this thing. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I wanted to, I, I've been meaning to stop by and see you. Mm -hmm. You told me you had all these cars. I yeah. Just, I just wanted to see you collection. Okay, I'll be glad to show you around. Let me. I, I think I'm. I think I'm ready to stop. 
You want well, to let you your dog, dog out? Is that a dog in there? It is, but I don't see. I don't Good to see you, Brian. Dewey Brian. Good to see you. Sir. I actually live over here on Lyrley Road. Uh huh. But you know Jennifer Coyer at the mailbox at the post office. The postmaster. Yeah. I don't. I didn't know that was her name, but I know her. Well, that's my <laughs> sister-in-law. And the house before her is my mother-in-law's. Oh, okay. So we actually own that part, but we live over off of Lively Road. Okay, okay. So, but I got a I got a '51 Chevrolet and a '56 Cadillac. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, just, so I, you I knew you said you worked on these things. Yeah, I, do do. Uh, I had my brakes were sticking, so I had to rebuild the cylinders. So yeah. the, the brake. These are this is a '64. Wow. So it's like your car. It's a Zips. Speed. It's got the one cylinder. It don't got no tandem to it. Oh, let me turn that thing on. What a nice guy. Dewey from down the road. Just stopped in to, saw the garage doors open, stopped in. So uh, anyway, he's got an old truck. What do you know? He saw my old truck. He says, I told him I had air conditioning. And he went, can you do that for me? I said, well, if the price is right. No, I think... Uh, I think I'd do it for him, not charge him much. Uh, wife's complaining more than anything. Okay, so here we go. We've got everything kind of bled, and I took my little uh, brake uh, switch off to kind of give me some some goodness here. So let's uh, let's bleed through, I guess. And uh, I'm going to start here. I'm gonna get it later. I'm gonna clean all these tools up. And get the lid on this thing. Okay, more more in a minute. All right, so we're set up like we were before, and this is sort of my technique to kind of get things going. I just sort of you do it like that. Uh, so I got to get her back in the air. I think I'm going to try to set this thing up uh, like that. So this is going to go onto the bleeder, and then uh, you got to make sure this stays topped up now, and then all of a sudden you'll see the. I've got a lot of bubbles out of both cylinders already. It's just a matter of uh, working working them through. Okay, let's see. I got it hooked up back there. I got the hemostats off, and we're all set. Scared to touch paintwork, that's for sure. So what we're going to hope for is to see bubbles or fluid disappearing. There it is. See it disappearing? And pretty soon we'll see some bubbles coming through. There they come. Don't let her get too low. I can see more through the see fluid coming up right here. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's not run the risk of running any bubbles. So let me dance the the lift dance here. Okay, got her topped up. And we got bubbles are coming. I hope. Oh, let me get my position a little better. Trying to avoid that hose down there. So you'll see the bubbles coming. Yeah, let them let them come, baby. Fluid going down, bubbles coming up. So you get the principle of it. You make a closed loop. There's that little bit of air right there. Let's see if we can get that out just for cosmetic purposes. So my guess is that the back left is now bled. Okay, so we're gonna move to the back right. It's not as hard as it seems. I didn't take you down there with me, but I got it hooked up to the right rear, you know, with use of hemostats and everything else. So let's see if we can get some air bubbles to come through. Because the more you do it, 
the better it does. Okay, here are the bubbles from the front uh, right caliper. And that's what you want to see, and it'll bubble up and take it in. Bubble, bubble. There you go. Okay, cool. One more corner and we're done. Okay, here they come. This is the last corner, front left. Pedal is very, very solid. Okay, so let's see what the pedal's like. So be sure and pump them up and set your calipers, because if you back out or go forward, go in forward or backwards, you know, don't do, don't go sideways. Uh, you won't have any brakes for a second. So uh, pump them up and get your caliper set, and then I got about that much travel. I don't know what you can see there, but about that much. That feels a lot more natural. Uh, than it did before She might need another bleed, you know give it a little time let the bubbles uh, Consolidate and then uh, maybe you know, maybe after you know 10 12 miles Let it sit overnight and bleed her again, and I'll probably do that, but there you go That's a that feels so much better. So let's do the clutch same principle. There's no sense showing that so well uh, it's getting, it's been too late. I've had all kind of visitors and other problems, so I uh, might be tomorrow, but you know, it's fine. Don't mind. Test drive time. I might need a little choke. Okay. All right. Let's let the brake off. And don't know when did to pump this one. So that's you. that choke off as quick as you can or mixture control. It's got plenty of pressure. So I'm gonna find out in just a few seconds if we've got brakes and clutch. There it goes. I'm so happy that's back. It acts more like a generator than an alternator. So, yeah, let's see here. Well, let's find out about clutch first. And reverse is the hardest gear to get into. There you go. Piece of cake. Well, now let's find out about brakes. Oops. Oh, I got wheel chocks back there. Silly me. Let's try her again. Well, the clutch feels a lot better. Oh, okay, let's find out. Come on, my leg's cramping. Come on, Ooh, ow, my legs. Uh, that old calf muscle. <laughs> well, we got brakes. I don't think I'm gonna go too far, but I'm just gonna prove the point here. Yeah, they're going to need another bleed, but that's okay. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is, let's just give her a good stop here. Okay, well, there you go. They're working in there. They're okay. I mean, they just need another bleeding. So let's see if there's... Look, I'm moving. I'm not even... So they're not sticking anymore. Look at that. Like they're just rolling along. All my feet are back. Out of gear, everything. And she's just rolling along. Wow. Might need to adjust the rear brakes too. I didn't think about that. Well, there you go. That's our proof of proof of it working and not sticking. I don't know. So, wow. I'm happy about that. Yeah, she's just going fine. Well, that's it. And uh, the old sun's going down. So be sure and give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hit it.
and share and tell other people to subscribe. Do it for me. I put, I, it takes me a long time to make these videos. I do it for, it's only for you. Okay, let's not turn around. Go back. All right. I might have enough time to get a little brandy cocktail and just watch the sun go down sitting on the front porch in the rocking chair. Or maybe in the hammock, say. Wish you were here, but you gotta bring your own brandy.